install the circuitry. Yep. Mm -hmm. Right. And and so you had your solder station with your solder suckers. And yeah. And, uh, yeah. And wave wave soldering machine and stuff like that. And well, actually, what actually what would happen is the engineers would make the design of the boards, and then and then on a CAD machine send that design out to the manufacturer. They come back with the with the printed circuit board. Okay. And um, so it would depend on when they got uh, at what time that because it get revved. Yeah. Right, uh, and then they'd silk screen on what rev it was. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this might be an earlier or later rev. Yeah. Right, because if they're replacing motherboards in the field, they would probably try and fix what the problem is mm -hmm. on the replacements. Yeah. Now, that means that if you were doing bench tech, that means that you've got volt, watts, and amps down cold. Mm -hmm. Watts is the consumption of power, correct? Yeah. Voltage is the um, frequency, and amps would be equivalent to pressure. Or is it better to say amps is your current? Well, amps is your current. Right, and that's your pressure if you were to relate it to water. Yeah, and voltage is a differential. Voltage is, a is the frequency. It's a potential of work. Okay. Your, your potential of work that can be created. So, so say you're, say the higher the voltage, you're, you're standing on a wall and you're jumping down. Right. And the higher the voltage, the higher the wall. Okay, but then the amps is the amount of mass, it, because because you can have ten thousand volts, but with no amperage, it doesn't doesn't, it doesn't do anything. Do anything. Yeah. And you can and you know one of the things that people talk about is that American um, power versus European. We're what one twenty, and they're like two forty. Yeah. And so they have a higher voltage, but their amps aren't as high. Mm -hmm. The ending dump is the same thing. So yeah. th when you think about a you know jump the potential for work the differential the voltage, mm -hmm. which I always measured on an oscilloscope as a frequency. Well, that's that's um, all the hertz alternating on alternating current. Okay, yeah. and you have direct current, which is which is what your which is what your power supply turns turns everything the into alternating into current into, into right. Yeah. Hmm. And so. So electrons is just the f the flow flow of, flow of a voltage. I mean, the amps is just the flow of electrons through the how many? Yeah. Okay. So, but I'm if if you have a fifty amp power supply, mm -hmm. all that's telling you is is that you have the potential to draw that number, right. not that you are drawing that number. Right. If my circuit breaker is a 20 amp circuit breaker, this device can be a 50 amp, but you're never going to exceed the circuit breaker because right. it's going to pop before you use it. Mm -hmm. But then Alex's point was, does when you do the conversion from AC to DC, how does that change the amp potential? Um. Because my feeling was is that amps are amps whether you you convert or not, because it's still about how much how much power you pull. Yeah, and um, I'm kind of losing you in in the conversion from. Well, um, AC is alternating current where you're yeah. you're you're popping the potential from high to low. Direct current.